This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hi, you will rarely see a journalist get up this early in the morning and start his working day. Well, you have no real option if you have to catch up with the boss who works as much as he parties. You have no real option. So let's cut out the suspense and tell you who the boss is on Boss's Day Out today. Let's go right in. Sabhan? Well, this is our boss's vehicle and it's 8 in the morning here in Mumbai and we'll be spending the whole day with him and we'll let the suspense stay a little bit longer. We are here on the ground floor and the man or the boss is almost here. There you are. Good morning, Gautam. Last time I saw you this early was uh, we were parting together. So <laughs> this is a bit different. Thanks so much. Yeah. Ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Gautam Singhania, if you still haven't figured out who it is, that's our boss's day out today. All right, 8.15 uh, now in Mumbai and Gautam wants to drive us himself, so we'll just get going to Bangalore. So, Gautam, do you go this early to work every time or this uh, is a rare occasion for us? No, it depends. We're going out of town, it's uh, early, but uh, normally out of town we try and take off by 8, 8.30. But uh, otherwise, office is about 9, 30, 10. So I guess you've got to find the balance. Uh, travel is part of my life, so um, you've got to travel up and down. I mean, I'm probably traveling 15 days a month on average within India, outside India. You're seen as someone who likes to have a good life mm -hmm. and the man of speed. Mm -hmm. The balance, is there any secret to that? How do you maintain that? You just have to find the balance. Um, you got to work hard and take out time for things what's important to you because, I mean, at the end of the day, what do you work for? I mean, um, there's, there's so much life has to offer and uh, work isn't just about everything. Right now, just to let you know, we are headed to Bangalore to visit his facility. Also, to look at a very different angle of what he really does. He loves speed, so we are going in for the drag race. That is tomorrow, so he's going to be practicing for us today, so we'll get to see a part of that. And, of course, uh, his evening, social evenings are well known, maybe we'll be a part of that too. So here we are, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. We're gonna fly in a private jet. It's not Gotham's, he's got it from his friends for the day because his is busy. But we're gonna go off to Bangalore, Gotham. Off, ready to fly okay, You're not flying yourself, are no, you? I'm not. On Boss's Day Out, Gautam Singhania will take us through various elements of his uh, daily life. He's the head of Raymond, of course, we all know that. A company which is worth almost 14 to 1500 crore rupees. Looking at fabric, looking at clothing, suitings. It's a well-known brand, well-known name, known for its advertising, emotional touch advertising, as some people would call it. But there are various sides to Gautam Singhania, and we'll try and spend this entire day on Boss's Day Out trying to discover who is Gautam Singhania. So tell us, who is Gautam Singhania for us? This is a simple guy who grew up in Bombay City. Yeah, simple guy flying in a private jet is not so simple. Well, you got to aspire for these things. Uh, you got to dream, think big and uh, go and achieve them. I saw you uh, while we were driving through Mumbai. You are a religious person. I saw you touching your head and your uh, chest while you were passing a temple every time. You are seen as this modern, dynamic, young businessman leading a very good life. You like your parties yet you are very religious. How does that all match up? Well, I am a religious person. Uh, I believe there's somebody up there who takes care of us. Uh, I think, yes, with all the stupidity that we do, somebody must be taking care of us with all the sport I do. No, but I am a religious person. I do believe in God. And I, like you said, on the way to the airport and back, I know all the temples. Uh, I just pay my respects at, on, on the way to the airport, on the way back, or whenever I'm driving. You've been around for four years now as the CMD of the company you took over in 2000. Does it bother you that you did not really create it, you just got it and you're just building on it? I got it at a level and my job is to take it to another level and um, 
it's a process. Life is a process. You've got to enjoy it. You can't, uh, I don't like to be unhappy and say that, you know, I'm unhappy. This is where I am today. You can't be happy for the moment. You'll never be happy in life. I wish I was a race car driver at one time. And uh, I'm a businessman. But okay, that's a thing of the past. Today, you've got to uh, be happy in what you do. A lot of people, I'm sure, critique you by saying that you're more about showbiz than biz. Does that bother you sometimes? My standard answer to this is that when I'm sitting at the office at 2 o'clock in the morning, no media person is interested. So they pick up the showbiz. Uh, but obviously, there's a hardworking side to it, which uh, people don't want to cover. Look at the way businesses are. You are a family-owned business. Uh, you don't know what would be the next step as far as uh, going into the next level of management is concerned. Whatever is going on in India right now, the Amani dispute is not uh, so unknown anymore. It is a big uh, example. Not getting into the specifics, but tell me, does it teach you anything? Well, I won't come in personally, but I think, you know, every CEO of a business has to differentiate between his business obligation and his family obligation. As CEO, a CEO must have an obligation to his business and run it as a professional business. But in a family business, the CEO must also have an obligation to his family, uh, a responsibility to his family. And you cannot mix the two of them up, but nor can you run away from either of them.